Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode on my YouTube channel. Now, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Today, I'm going to be going over this app that I love. It makes fishing a lot easier. It is a lot more inexpensive. Uh, a lot less expensive. There we go. There we go, Caleb. Anyways, it's a lot less expensive than the electronics that you get in your boats. It's a very good, detailed, in-depth app. Before I get into all that good stuff though, I'm gonna head out to Gander Outdoors and to Dick's Sporting Goods, and I'm gonna pick up some baits and um, some other things that I need because this weekend I'm going up to the cottage. Hopefully we can get into some good fish this weekend, but I need to load up on some baits. So I'm gonna be doing post-spawn fishing because our cottage up there in Canada on our lake they were like a couple weeks behind with the spawn the memorial day weekend when we went usually they're spawning that weekend and usually you can get into them but they were not up at all no it was all pre-spawn mode what happens with that post-spawn stage especially after the full moon we had in june um june 17th i believe it was um what happens there is the bass have two options they either go deeper onto the secondary points and flats and ledges and they go there to feed them also schooling bait or stay up in shore roaming the flats and just uh, getting big up there. I'm going to kind of focus on both this weekend. I'm going to do some shallow bank fishing, um, but in my boat. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing some offshore fishing for you guys. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go and get some baits and get my stuff. And uh, then we'll head back here and I'll uh, show you guys all about this cool app. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm done shopping. I think I got everything I need. Um, let's go through. So I got this good old trench hog. I think I'm going to throw this when I'm offshore fishing. Um, show them something different. You know, the bass are usually used to those uh, these Mondo worms. I'm going to throw both of them, um, see which one works better. I'll throw that offshore. Um, <laughs> I got this nice little clip fan to put in my tent. You know, I like to sleep comfortably, you know. I got the bandito bug as well. I'm going to swim that like I have been pond fishing. I'm kind of used as a swim jig type deal. Can't go anywhere without these zoom horny toads. You really can't go wrong with those. Throw those some top water. Um, had to get some uh, gamakatsu. I don't know how to say that. Got these sporot hooks. Um, I use them for Sankos usually in the soft plastics. And I got two um, deep diving crankbaits. Um, I'm going to try those offshore. I've read a lot about them, and I guess they're good. So, yeah, so that's it. I got everything I need. Oh, I also got this nice uh, tent back there, if you guys can see it. Nice street person. But, yeah, so I got these. Um, I'm all set for my weekend. This thought that popped up into my head before I get going. Um, you know, last couple videos, um, I've been using the Guggen Baits Bandito Bug a lot, and I've been saying a lot of things about their products, and especially with Wu Tungsten too, and all their tungsten weights. Um, I just want to put it out there that I am not sponsored by them at all. Um, it could come across that way, and I don't want to have that bad image because I am not. Um, I'm not sponsored by the, either companies. Um, I am a part of Team Guggen. I sent my application in, they accepted it. And I am a pro team or a pro staff team for Wu Tungsten. Um, I'm a part of their deal as well. And you know, they're just two companies that I really um, believe in. Guggen Bates. Um, I love how they started out, and they've grown so much. And I do like their products a lot. And uh, I like that what they're doing, and I believe in what they're doing. Um, so I support them, and I just like to put out there that I'm using their baits, and I think you guys should get some too. And I think you're crazy if you don't have any. But in Wu Tungsten, they make great weights. Tungsten weights, they're chipless. Um, the new product line that just came out, they're chipless weights and they're durable and long lasting and they're pretty good. And I also support their story and what they're doing as well and trying to expand their um, stuff for them as well. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I am not uh, part of anything that either company is doing and I am not a part of their teams. Um, and I'm not sponsored by them at all, by any means. Um, I think that's kind of assumed, but yeah, I just want to put that out there. But anyways, enough of that. Um, I got all my stuff. I'm ready for this weekend. And now it is time to go home and show you guys the app that will help you get onto some good fish. 
guys, I promise you, just stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. I just got done shopping. I got all my gear ready for this weekend. Um, again, like I said earlier, I'm going to be at my cottage this weekend. I'm going up with my dad, my grandpa, and my grandpa's brother. Um, we're going to be doing some fishing this weekend. Now, I don't know how much I'll get in. Um, I'm hoping to make um, three solid good outings on the water, like going at it really hard, trying to get some good fish for you guys. Um, but it gets hard. Um, weather dependent, number one. And two, there's just a lot of stuff going on when we go up to the cottage. Um, but nevertheless, I'll try. The main reason why I'm doing this video right now is so that you guys can have an idea of how I fish when I am up there. Now this app, I use it mostly all the time that I'm fishing. Now when I'm fishing on the banks, I don't really use it much because it's not that useful. But whenever I'm out in a boat, I am always using it. And this app is... It's a really good app. My cousin showed it to me. He's the one who got me on it and he loved it before he gave it to me. I love it now that he shared it with me. You really cannot go wrong with this app. Um, it gives you everything except for finding the fish, but it's, it's basically an app meant for mapping um, and giving you a very detailed and in-depth look at a body of water that you are fishing. And I find that very useful and helpful. You know what, why don't we just get right into it right now and I'll show you. You know how it's used and all every everything the in and outs of it i'll show you right now but anyway so when you first get into it you're going to come up to the screen and uh i'll log in but you would create an account because if you haven't had it before you can create one um but i'm just going to go ahead and you're going to log in um All right, so now once you're logged in, this is what's gonna pop up. So basically what I use this for, um, I don't power boat and I don't sail, but I do kayak, I fish, I don't dive. Um, ice fishing, I do ice fish. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we can click on other, oh, here we go. Um, inland and inshore fishing. Yeah, I guess we do those. Um, offshore fishing we do. I don't do snorkeling or stand up padding or gotta so yeah Basically, you just tap on your interest and then this app will customize it so that it you know It fits you um, and what you're gonna um, be using it for It tailors itself to you basically Okay, so now this will pop up. So right now where that red arrow is right there That is where I am currently that is my current GPS position um, Lake Ontario is right next to me and the St. Lawrence River is just north of me about 30 miles If you click right here in the middle right on that dot, it's gonna bring you to this page and You can create a marker. I'm gonna create a marker now This is the home marker and this is the first thing you're gonna do when you open it You're gonna just hit wherever you live right where your arrow is and you're gonna make that You're gonna tap it and it's gonna bring you to this options display you're going to hit marker right in that top right corner, and then you're going to create your home marker. You're just going to add. First marker is going to be your home marker. So now, you zoom out. Now, you can go to any body of water you want, um, wherever you're fishing. But So here's my cottage. It's Bob's, uh, it's named Bob's and Crow Lake. Now, I'm going to set a marker right where my cottage is. I'm on the northern end here, right in here. I am on this shoreline right here, about right where I am. I am just about right here. So I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna make another marker. This is gonna be marker one and you can change the name of these and I'm gonna change it to cottage. I'm gonna add it and so now that marker is always there, it stays there. So for just for giggles purposes here, let's say I'm fishing this little cove right here. Now. What this does is it gives you all the depth ranges, this app. This app will give you all the drop-offs. It's basically, if you're on a boat and you have an electronic system, or if you've seen the pros and their electronics, it's basically, this is what they use for mapping. Now I'm not saying they use this, or I'm not saying they use this specific like 
for a program or Navionics, I'm not saying that at all, I'm saying they use this type to get a layout of their lake that they are on. And so this gives me a layout of the lake that I'm on. And as you can see, it go there's the contour lines of depth changes. And so there's these points right here. Right in here, in this area, this is all weeds. And these are spawning grounds for largemouth and smallmouth. And this is rock shoal out here. So these points I'm going to be keying on this weekend for offshore fish. Um, and so say I wanted to mark right there for my offshore spot, I could just say offshore spot, add, and there. I've been on this lake for up in my cottage for 20 years. I was astonished at how accurate it was. Like I fished half the places up in my cottage. I go on here to double check and it was very accurate. Um, and it's very detailed. Um, so that is basically what I use it for and what you can do. But also I'll show you real quick. There's other things you can do with it. Um, if you go to the menu, you can do, um, you know, it, it tracks where you go. Um, you can set your own routes. Um, you can connect different devices, you can download maps so that when you're offline you can use them. Um, you can update it all and also it gives you weather and ties which I find is really useful and incredible. Um, when you're online it will give you like the weather update and the tide and it's just very detailed. It'll give you air pressure, it'll give you visibility, um, it gives you sunrise, sunset, um, it gives you an outlook for the week to come. It's just, and it, there's maps for wind. Um, there's maps for buoys, tides, currents. It's just, this app is really good and it's top of the line. I strongly recommend it for people that, um, are like me where if they have a boat, but it doesn't have electronics at all, or if it has very little electronics or it doesn't have a mapping system, I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, or if you're a kayaker, I definitely recommend getting this as well. In the App Store, I believe this one, this version, the U.S. and Canadian one, is $23.99 um, in the App Store. And I believe the U.S. one is $19.99, but um, I'm not sure. That's a little pricey for iTunes compared to like getting bigger boats and bigger electronics where the money just jacks up into thousands. Um, this is only 20 bucks, so you can't really beat it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. I just want to give you a quick rundown of that app, and I just wanted to give you guys um, some help. Um, I love fishing, and I do a lot of research and try to give myself an advantage anything, any, any way that I can. Um, and so I thought I'd do the same for you guys. Um, I thought I'd help you guys out. If you follow this channel and you like it, um, I hope this helps you. Um, if not, and you come across this video, I hope it helps you as well. Um, I just want to make everyone's fishing outing um, a lot easier and a little more enjoyable and a little less expensive. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, want to get your hands on that, go to the App Store. Um, I don't know if Android has it. I'd imagine they do. Um, but if, you know, if you're not sure, just check it out yourself if you have an Android. But I know Apple's App Store has it. Um, just go type in Navionics and it'll be the US and Canada version. Um, but you can also, like I said, if you don't fish Canada waters and don't want to spend the extra four or five bucks, whatever it is, um, you can just get the simple US version. And they have all other things like a strictly just boating one where it's like, it gives you the buoys and just basically everything you need to know about just if you're going out to boat, you know, I just hang out on a boat, I don't know. But anyways, um, so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I'm going to be at the cottage um, this weekend making good video, good content for you guys. Hopefully I can get into some good fish. I really hope this helps you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're not new to the channel, but you haven't done so, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to be giving more tips and good videos like this and as well as good fishing videos. Um, I just wanted to do something a little different this time and I thought of this. So yeah, hey, tight lines. Keep fishing, guys.